guys, what's going on? And welcome to a video update on my E92 M3. Yes, that's right, finally some content on the M3. I know I kind of started a lot of the channel with this car, so it's time to do a fall update. It's October of 2021. Um, I haven't done a ton of driving with the car lately, although there are some bugs on the front of the car, so obviously I've gone somewhere, uh, which is a good thing. We're gonna take the car out today, stretch its legs, and I'm gonna give you just kind of an update for 2021 and what's going on this fall. I have a few mods over there, which I'll show you in just a second, of plans for this car and a few other thoughts of just ownership and just a nice fall update for you. I like to do these every once in a while or every season. Uh, we'll do a quick little walk around, a quick update, and then we're gonna get it on the road. All right, so let's get the exciting stuff out of the way. I actually had this for a while. These are um, essentially, obviously, metal pedals for the M3. I bought these, I, I feel like a year ago, and I actually kind of forgot about them. So we're gonna be doing these, uh, not in this video, but in a very a video filmed very soon. Uh, regarding the overview, I haven't put a ton of miles on the car. Although we got some bugs and a lot of you people who are into detailing uh, like myself, myself included, I'm not, uh, I don't really have a huge issue with some bugs sitting on the front of the car when it's like garaged. Obviously none is better than some, but if it's not baking in the sun, I just personally don't feel quite as um, anxious or worried about getting them off and etching and things like that. Plus I do have paint protection film on the front of this car. Um, so that definitely helps if something does happen, I guess, worst case scenario, get the film replaced. Uh, so we got the trickle charger on. This is the SeaTech 7002. Definitely recommend. It's nice because it cycles the battery as well. So it's not just a plain old trickle charger. Engine bay, generally uh, stock here. I'm going to remove the trickle charger. Um, but yeah, generally stock. I do have a BPM tune. I definitely could use an engine bay. So before winter time, definitely come in here. I don't even know how all that stuff is there, but um, definitely want to do a quick little once over. The uh, top of the hood here looks looks okay. Obviously, I think I got caught in rain. To believe it or not, um, so that might be part of the reason why there's a little bit of remnants in there. So other than that, car looks good. Uh, still digging the <laughs> Michelin Pilot Super Sport tires. These are not the 4S's yet, so um, once these kind of get worn down a little bit more, I will uh, definitely put some 4S's on the car. I just, I'd like to just get the use out of those. Honestly, it feels kind of wasteful just to throw them away. So still have the test pipes, which you guys will hear in just a second, paired with the muffler mod, the muffler mod or whatever you want to call it. So it is pretty gnarly and a little bit raspy. So again, I've been considering playing around and changing things like that in the exhaust, probably the rear section, but for now I don't really know what I'm going to do. Suspension still also playing around. So those are the two big uh, dollar items and commitment items. Suspension, the uh, height adjustable springs, the KWs, I'd love, especially because the front of this car could use a little bit of a drop. You know, from this angle, it actually might look okay, but obviously we got some height here and some height here. Not that I want the front dumped here, but um, obviously it could go for a cleaner look. Uh, so let's walk around here. Uh, got the carbon fiber mirror caps. If you guys haven't seen those, I think I did an install video as well. And uh, we got the inside, which is pretty clean. Um, you guys think, some people think my cars are never dirty, but they do get dirty. And uh, I'm someone who usually waits to uh, do the interior, so kind of uh, kicking that out. Need to do a steering wheel um, detail, clean that up a little bit. And uh, other than that, yes, I do have the inserts, which I know is pretty rare and a little bit odd, but they're not that bad, plus you're sitting on them. Our carbon fiber roof, people ask, how's it going? Is it fading? Is it whatever? You know, my, my car being um, garaged pretty much its whole life, I think. It's, it's, it has a perfect carbon fiber roof. There's like maybe one rock chip, which in hindsight, I would have liked to have this clear filmed as well, but too late for that. And uh, do a mileage check while I have the camera here. We've got 48, 
788. So still under 50,000 miles. Uh, still loving it, still running really good. She always looks so good, so good. All right, so this car, I, I've had over four years, if you guys didn't already know that. And man, it's paid off, it's reliable, it's fun, it sounds good, it looks good. Um, it's still pretty quick. You know, obviously there's the uh, F80 and the G80 now, which are much quicker and all wheel drive and all that stuff. but. For the money, I know these cars have only appreciated generally, you know, the clean examples definitely have, still worth the money to me. And there's a reason why people are paying it and seeking out the clean, like unmolested versions of these cars. So I would say if you are in the market, definitely look for one, you know, one that was loved, one that someone in their mind thought that they would have forever. That always helps to me. Obviously you can get unlucky, but I feel like that makes a big difference when buying a car. The one thing that is pretty annoying, you guys didn't notice, I haven't really gone very high in the RPMs. Rod bearings, oil, warm-up procedure, all that stuff I think is a little bit overplayed. Um, just wait for the oil reading to come up to say that it's pretty much at like 210 and then I usually still wait a few minutes after that and then usually you should be fine. For the money, I mean this car is substantially less than the F80 or the G80 or whatever and if you're not too worried about the insane tech in those cars and the speed and the way they look, I mean, obviously, I, I feel like the F80 is one of the best looking, you know, BMWs in general, but the, the, the E92 is not a bad looking car um, either, in my opinion. So anyways, I, I think it's a good buy. I think my car is a good example. So if you're looking for one, compact is always a plus, carbon roof is a plus, the wheels are a plus. You know, you want the car to be set up you don't have, want to have to mess around with it like so much. So I'm going to go down this road, down the side road here. And uh, it's nice to have a car that's like generally, you know, set up. Like if you get the competition suspension, you don't have to monkey around with suspension and, and wheels and all that stuff. Like for me, I've never had to do a single thing. You can do something but you don't have to man I apologize this Sun is really not in my favor today uh, it's kind of a struggle to film a video a little bit more to deal with than you may realize but yeah love this car fun car good-looking car Mods are not super cheap because it is an M car, so modding this versus like a 335 for me because I had a 335 before this, noticeably more expensive just because they know you bought the more expensive car and it is a more expensive car in every way, the suspension, the engine, um, everything. You know, it's only 30% of a normal E90. So a lot of it is different. Um, I'm not gonna say it's proprietary uh, parts, but uh, they are different, they are unique. So when you are modifying, changing, and maintaining this car, it is you know, noticeably more expensive than like a normal 3 Series or 335 or whatever you happen to have. But yeah, guys, that's it. Definitely comment below if you wanna you know, understand more about the car, hear more about the car, or if you want a specific video on my car, I can definitely do another walk around and sort of um, give you another rundown about my thoughts. So I appreciate you guys watching. I love the support. Um, you know, obviously I've been slacking on the videos a little bit uh, lately, been kind of busy. Uh, but other than that, let me know and I will see you guys next time.
See, right now we're in fifth, chilling at like 50. Fourth, third. It's quick enough, it really is. I mean, shoot, what do you want? How about that? Oof. Glad I didn't have to hit that at speed. <laughs> it can get squirrely. I mean, the torque's higher, but it gets squirrely. Well, the tires are probably cold. That's probably part of the reason. But yeah, it can. It's. Uh, <laughs> It'll put you in your place at times. 